For the second straight year, Pennsylvania lawmakers have passed a state budget on time. And for the second straight year, the spending plan includes no tax increases. House Republicans say it's a welcome and overdue trend. And what we had during the eight years of the previous administration was an unpredictable environment. People actually, entities ended up borrowing money, paying interest on that money, really not knowing from one day to the next where their budget was going. And I think we had a responsibility, we met our responsibility, and I'm very confident that we'll meet that responsibility as an on-time budget in the future. The $27.7 billion budget represents a 1.45% increase over the current fiscal year, but is still below the rate of inflation. House Republicans ensured that the cuts to education and human services in Governor Corbett's budget proposal were mostly, and in some cases, fully restored. The recession, our tax revenues are down, but our expenditures always go up. People need more help. So we have a terrible job trying to match the revenues and expenditures once we already decided we just weren't going to raise taxes. So that was the hard part, and we got it done. I think we did a good job in balancing our revenue with our expenditures in this budget. Importantly, we finished it on time so that the revenue streams to our critical services are not interrupted. That was important after eight years of not finishing a budget on time to make sure that we fulfilled our constitutional requirement to get a budget done by June 30th. For example, the new budget restores cuts to the Commonwealth's public universities and brings K-12 public education spending up to the same level as last year. That includes $100 million for accountability block grants to give school districts the flexibility to fund initiatives such as pre-kindergarten, full-day kindergarten, or other priorities. The new spending plan also restores $84 million in the governor's proposed 20% cut to county human service programs. At $17.8 million to reduce the list for intellectually disabled individuals waiting to receive services and care. Restores funding for hospitals, trauma centers, and burn centers to the same levels as last year. We started off with less revenue than we ever anticipated to then end up with more revenue than we anticipated. And it was spread across the board, not just to certain agencies or certain groups. We were able to level fund education K-12. through We were able to level fund our, our non-preferred and our state universities uh, and, and our colleges, which our parents and families so much need. This budget is responsible. It prioritizes hard-earned tax dollars. It takes care of the most vulnerable. It provides for public education, quality public education, and is targeted and lives within its means. Reporting from Harrisburg, I'm Anthony Tezak.